When I'm working through something internally, sometimes it's really hard to put words to all the struggle that I'm feeling. I know I've mentioned in some of my other studies that it really helped me to watch the process of a home renovation I was doing at the same time that I was trying to heal from heartbreak. It was so good to see that sometimes things have to be torn apart before they can be built back together better than ever. It was easier to see the physical progress in the house, which helped be a reminder that what was going on in my heart would be a similar process. As we talk about rips and repairs in a relationship, I wondered if there was a good physical representation of this process as well. A friend of mine mentioned to me kintsugi, which is the Japanese art of repair. Maybe you've seen it before. It's often a bowl that's been broken into several pieces, but then after it's repaired, it looks like it has golden veins running throughout it instead of breaks. Now, I am not typically a crafty kind of person, but I decided to try this myself. I got some of my friends together and broke this bowl, and then we used a kit to repair it. And it was really interesting to see how physically repairing something could really speak to us in our own journeys with repairing broken trust. Now, here are some of the observations that we each made. My friend Joel said, every break or rip is unique, so every repair needs to be unique. More severe breaks will require more time for the repair. Then I said, the quicker you tend to the repair, the quicker the bowl returns to its intended function and purpose. If you don't repair the bowl, the broken pieces stay fragile. But when you repair the bowl with the intention of making it more beautiful, it goes from being just a common bowl to a work of art. And then my friend Leah said, we don't want the bowl to break because when it breaks, it runs the risk of being seen as ruined. But we have a choice of what we do with the breaks. And it was a good reminder to me to not give up too quickly. Maybe sometimes the kintsugi art doesn't work and the bowl still falls apart, but sometimes it does work and it's beautiful. The principle of repairing rips in relationships is not just a modern day concept. God modeled it so we could notice it through scripture and implement it in our relationship with Him and others. The most severe rip in a relationship that we can study is between God and man in Genesis 3, when the first sin occurs. It's important to say on the outset that God will not do anything that is inconsistent with His nature and character, because then He would cease to be God. This means God will not have any part in sin. So there's a principle here I want us to pay close attention to that's repeated as a pattern throughout Scripture, starting in Genesis 3. In the Old Testament, as sin increases, the presence of God decreases. But God always puts into place ways for His people to stay connected to Him. I want us to make note of how important staying connected to God is because this same pursuit of staying connected is crucial for trust in our human-to-human relationships as well. 